bonjour and welcome back to 4x4 Explore. This is me and here's my husband Keith. We enjoy traveling around Australia in our Toyota 79 series fitted with a Tommy Camper. Join us on our journey and if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Fantastic. Free camp. We like when it's free. Probably one of the best free camp we've ever found. Look at this, right on the river. Now, what a place to wake up to, right? Feeling very privileged to have the opportunity to do, to have this kind of life. So um, anyway, we are going to move on. We're packing up right now and uh, Victoria High Country, here we come. See you on the road. Right, so uh, we are on the uh, scrubby old track. Casey is currently deflating the tires. It is looks like a very, very steep track to get to the top there. Hi Keith, are we ready? No, I've got to have a fact first. <laughs> so we've got uh, the tyre deflated. What did we do? 30 at the back? 28 at the back. Yeah. 22 at the front. 22 at the front. We've got the winch. We've got the winch out, just ready in case of we get stuck. We get stuck and we've got all the gears for the winch at my feet so I can just grab it and run for it. I've got my shoes on, gloves are there, we're ready to go. It is very very steep. Can you see there? are at the top says yet another hill look at that one yeah Whew. well that gets the adrenaline pumping a little bit but uh, the car is handling it well right Keith yeah it's good Here. 
over 1300 meters. Still going up. Well, question to the audience here. Lots of trees which to me appear dead. They have absolutely no leaves whatsoever and we've seen them all across the Mount Kosciuszko Park as well. Are they dead really or not? That's my question. I will try to do a bit of research on that as well. Well, but if you know about that, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you. So we just stopped for breakfast. Um, about 1200, 1300 meters. Come across a nice wooden house, ski lodge, and firewood here, and it's clean as a sink. right down now we're going to go um, to a creek and if it's nice we might stop over call it a day we're going to go down here she goes yep here she goes Someone comes in front of us. Who's got priority then? They have. They have. It's easy for me to stop. But yeah. Often the end it is for them. Yeah. And if there was, if you're on the, if you're on the flat, and there's more than one car coming at you, and we're on our own. Yes. We stop. Yeah. Because it's easy for three cars to pass one. Yes. And one car to pass three. Yes. But going downhill, it's easy to stop. I'm trying to get up the Oops, hill. Oh, okay. Oh, looky now, can't see a thing. Oh, there she be. Oh, that is very steep. This is the steepest downhill we've done. That will add on the brake as well. Epic, epic drive. Those descent was. <laughs> That's the steepest I've ever driven down. Yeah, it was absolutely a little bit crazy, I think. And here we are at the Wheeler Creek campground. It's a very, very big campground actually, quite a lot of different spots. We're just having a bit of a walk around, letting the car recover and cool down a bit. And uh, I don't think we might stay here tonight. We don't know yet. We might go and have a look at another camp a little bit further up, which supposedly is a little bit more private. All right, we'll uh, find the camp spot. When we are settled in, we'll touch base again.
nothing better than the taste of a very fresh grounded coffee in the morning love it so um, we just have spent our first night in the Victoria High Country a bit chilly so we are having a very nice sunrise it's just kissing the top of the mountain there we still uh, we're still in the shadow, so it's still a bit chilly. We found a nice campsite right on a little creek. Um, very crystal clear water. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very quiet night. We haven't seen a car since we left. Um, uh, what was that town we was in, Keith? We were in, Keith? You don't remember. I don't remember either. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> But that was the last time we saw people. Um, and uh, yesterday was what a day. <laughs> it, was, it was insane. Those uh, steep hills and descents was absolutely freaking me out. It was, it was very steep. So anyway, today we're going to go even higher. I think yesterday we reached about 1400 meters. Today, probably we'll go up to over 1700 meters. So in the meantime, I'm going to finish my coffee and then uh, we'll do a quick car check because the car worked really hard yesterday. All right, we'll see you on the road. Each vehicle handles off-road tracks differently. Some tracks can be very easy for some setup, but super difficult for some others. Our Toyota Land Cruiser has plenty of power with a tuned-up V8 engine, but it also weighs 4 tons. Additionally, the Tommy Camper makes the vehicle top-heavy, setting the vehicle's center of gravity quite high. So the difficult tracks for us are the steep and off-camber climbs. For example, steep climbs with big ruts or rock steps, where we have to give it some power to keep momentum and push the four tons up while preventing the vehicle from tipping over. We've got a big climb coming up. Look at this. You see it there? What do you think, Keith? How do you feel about this? Not well, enough. Eh? Hey? Not well, well, enough. Eh? Yeah. Then we've got to come down. Then we've got to come down. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get to over 1,700 meters in altitude, so that's going to be fun. That was epic. Sorry, I've been swearing on, on camera. That was that was hairy. That was really good. As our itinerary, we started at a free camp on Tuong Road and made our way to Koryong. 
We kept going on the Murray Valley Highway until Colac Colac. And we turned onto the Benambra Corion Road towards Omeo. About one kilometer before Nariel, we took the Scrubby Creek track until the Ski Hut track, then turned right on Dunstan Road until we reached the Six Miles Ridge track. At the end, we turned left on Wheeler's Creek Road, passed Wheeler Creek Hut and drove down Paddy Joy track and camped there for the first night. Next day, we went back on the Wheeler's Creek Road and turned right on Buenba Road. We then followed the Mount Gibo track and made it safely to Mount Gibo. What a day! In the next episode, we will continue exploring the high country. So stay tuned, enjoy your travel and keep safe. Until next time.